There was a time when the archer was the most feared warrior, and when one was captured, it did more damage to the enemy to cut off some of his fingers, and let him loose, than to just straight up kill him. This was the start of economic warfare. You see, an injured archer now had to be fed and cared for, and this tied up more resources that now could not be used to fight the war. The fingers themselves, can be divided into three different regions, the thumb, the index and middle finger, and the ring and pinky. Together the thumb, index, and middle finger represent dexterity. You can think of it this way. These are the digits that you use to hold a writing instrument. Then when the thumb is used in tandem with the ring and pinky, that's where strength comes in. Think about how you hold a hammer, or pull on a rope. This is the origin of the rude gesture of holding up the index and middle finger with the back of the hand toward the person whom you are wanting to offend. It is also the origin of the same display that uses only the middle finger. It is displaying to the other person that you still have your fingers, and these are the fingers that are used to draw back the bow. It's a way of saying, I will fight you later. It was on January 20th, in 1633, that Galileo left his home to face the Inquisition. The charges were heresy. He was accused of speaking out against the truth as the Pope saw it. After months, he buckled under the threats and interrogation by the Inquisition, and he publicly renounced his belief that the earth revolved around the sun, though he was heard to mumble under his breath, e pure, si muove, which means even so, it does move. Rather than burn him at the stake, as others had been, he was sentenced to spend the rest of his life under house arrest. He was a broken man. We jump forward now 350 years, after a 13-year investigation, Pope John Paul II announced that the Church might have made an error in Galileo's case, and the Pope closed the case. However, just 95 years after Galileo's death, Anton Francesco Gori, opened Galileo's tomb on March 12, in 1737, and removed his middle finger. The body was being moved to a more dignified tomb, and that is when Anton sees the opportunity. The finger is now on display in a place of honor at the Florence History of Science Museum. Some say that the finger is pointing up, while others claim that it is telling the church that he won the fight. Encourage courage. <laughs>